Okay, once you have, um, uh, now you have selected the side and move it aside, and the top and bottom are here. They're both together overlapping. If you, how do I know they're overlapping? Because I go on the, on the viewport and see that both sides are selected, so it's okay. Um, we'll then next um, scale them. So go on the scale tool, you know, scale them as you as you need to, and we'll work in the proportions next. Um, so we'll very much come back to this. So we we'll do the same for the other two. Uh, let's go to the to the sphere. Uh, the sphere is fairly fairly uh, simple. The sphere, and then create modifier UV coordinates unwrap, and then open the UV editor, and we open the window there. So we have the UVs, and. Uh, they seem okay, you know, the, this, the sphere will always, because of the pinching on the top, will always, you know, have some kind of distortion there. Uh, and then the, uh, the last one is the box, okay, so we do the same. Modifiers, UV coordinates, uh, UV W map. In this case, we select box and UV coordinates, again, unwrap and open the UV editor and this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting because all the faces are in there but they are very much overlapping um, you know one on top of the other you know if you click here on the you know on the window you're gonna notice that um, all the faces are one on top of the other it will be um, in the case that all the sides are the same, it's okay, but what you want to do is separate them. Okay, and I'm not sure why it's doing that, but let's, uh, let's just select the faces on the viewport. And go around, get the next one, and where is the next one? There. So there you go, you have all the six sides laid out. So now we select them, make a selection, and we want to make them go into that default texture area. And uh, we'll, we'll most likely come back to this. Okay, so uh, let's turn the texture off over here so that you don't get a headache next. Um, and let's close that window. So now all of them have the unwrap and uh, they're ready to be textured next. So that leads to the next stage of this uh, assignment. We will now assign a uh, checker map to uh, test placement on the, on the geometry. Okay? Uh, you might raise the question of, do I really need the UVW map? Uh, if you use the UV on wrap, <coughs> it's not necessary to have the UV W map. In some instances that are like on the cylinder, for example, if you put the UV on wrap first, uh, when you put the UV on wrap on top of that, uh, it reads better the UVs because it kind of gets the placement of the of the uh, UV map that you create, and then it works better for the unwrap. So. After you have that layout, you can always, you know, delete it or you can always leave it there. It's not going to hurt, but it's not really necessary to have, um, you know, the, 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 um, the UVW map plus the unwrap. Sometimes they actually compete for attention each other. So you got to be careful, you know, you see where you really need it, okay? Which is when you want better placement on the UV unwrap. So let's next um, add a, um, a checker map. So when we come back, we're going to be working on that next stage.